Now tell me about the Sevens game when you were playing and the Sevens games today. You said it hasn't changed so much, but is there one or two things that have changed that have been advantageous or the opposite, has been detrimental to the game? You know, I, I think um, the circuits um, uh, made a whole lot of teams uh, more competitive, and I think that's a good thing. When I was playing, it was pretty much We'll meet Fiji in the final. The 21st Hong Kong Sevens final, and it's to be played by the two teams that have so dominated the tournament in recent years. Fiji have won it seven times. Teams from New Zealand have won it six times. The New Zealand team looking today to match the record of Fiji and win it three times in a row. The atmosphere is quite electric in the stadium here. These are the two teams that the neutral observers wanted to see. There's the New Zealand side with their coach Gordon Titchens in the middle. There's the New Zealand side, captained by Eric Rush. The name Joely Bandiri missing from both the lineup to start the game and also the subs bench where Stephen Brink from South Africa has been drafted into the New Zealand squad because Joely Bandiri has strained that calf muscle. Fiji led by the little master and the number six jumper, Waisali Sarebi. So much discussion as to whether he or Eric Rush is the best all-round exponent of the Sevens game. It's straight into action. Ross Mitchell, the referee from Hong Kong, blows the whistle to start the 21st final of the Cathay Pacific Hong Kong Bank Sevens. New Zealand quickly swamped by the Fijians coming through. Ball squirting back on the Fijian side and going back to the Fijians. The man in the number seven by Kelly Kelly. And it's Fiji have got to try and stay with New Zealand early on. It's 20 minutes. It's a long game for sevens. Players are going to get tired, but Fiji must try and stay in this game. The first two finals, the bowl and the plate, they've been runaway victories. Eric rushes away. Over halfway he goes. He's got support from Masarewa with him. But he's put on the ground on the 22. Picked up by Lomu. Can they stop him? One tries and fails. Now they get him in the double sandwich. Down he goes just short of the line. New Zealand close. And they were real good games, you know, but um, uh, for the sake of the, the, the whole circuit, I think it's it's good that any one of five or six teams can win now. And I think that's the biggest change. A lot of people have said to me that it's a lot more physical nowadays. But I, I, I don't really believe that, because when I first played, New Zealand had Buck Shelford, Zinzan Brook, Mark Brook Cowden and Emosu Koloto. And those guys are some of the most physical rugby players that have ever played the game, you I'm know, sure. so I don't yeah. think it's that much more physical. Um, I think the game is, um, defences have, uh, have improved a hell of a lot, so it's not as easy to get through now, but, um, you know, I, I don't see it as being too different. I see the same thing. What, what, what I've noticed from my personal point of view is that is the gap has uh, decreased so much, like, uh, uh, like, as you say, England, South Africa, Samoa, yep. Fiji, New Zealand, um, any given day they can beat each other yeah. yeah yeah that's right and that's and that's because of the circuit right. they're playing each other more and, and the only way to get good at sevens is to play more yes. and that's why fiji's always been the top dogs i reckon because they have so many tournaments over here in fiji yes. and, and and it's probably been their detriment too mm. because they've got so many good players and as soon as a new coach comes in whoosh, all those fellas <laughs> are gone and have, whoosh, no fellas are gone <laughs> And they haven't, you know, haven't kept that core of players, which is what, what Titch has done, which, which was what Titch has uh, been really clever with. Um, so, so, so what you feel is that maybe um, there needs to be a core, uh, uh, basically a core team, uh, or made of three or four players that there, and then just uh, bring in new players rather than just yeah. keep uh, getting new players and new players. Yeah, yeah, I, I believe so. And, and you know, you look at, you, you get it, because every year for you, I'm the earth, so. You know, these guys are outstanding, you know. Full penalty, could have been a yellow card, isn't. Fijian, ball in hand, how they love it. Tatan, Tatan Imbao, great, oh, what a, what a wonderful pass. That was a gem of a pass from Tatan Imbao to Tarembu. Uh, about two years, they go, and they bring in the next new young kid, and you need that. You look at uh, Tomasi and Lotte and DJ Forbes and Mickelson now, and uh, Toby Arnold, who's a pretty unsung hero in the New Zealand side, but I think he does a really good job. And, and those guys are the core, you know, and they build all the young guys around them, and that's their job is to bring the young guys up. And they don't win every game, but, you know, they've, uh, they've won a, a more than anyone else. Samoa have been doing quite well as well. Yes, yeah, Samoa's having a uh, lean year this year, mm. uh, but uh, 
again naturally talented. Yes. Uh, and and this and the secret is they've kept those guys together. You know, they've kept those guys well in my and those big strong forwards. They've been there for quite a while now. Uh, they, I think they're missing the, the stroke weapon, Pesamina. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think they're missing him a little bit, but uh, yeah, Samoans are, you know, and the Tongans, just naturally talented. So they're great at the game, but uh, the Cook Islands, they, you know, down in Wellington, there's some good players in their team, uh, but they're all young. Uh, New Zealand's got that experience. South Africa's doing the same thing now, they keep a core of players, uh, so does England, and that's why they always. So yeah, the top yeah. Yeah. It's very interesting, and, and uh, for me anyway, to watch uh, four, five, six teams who play each other in the quarters and semis and final, and they're all good games. Yeah. Uh, that's what makes it very interesting for me to have a sort of even game almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah.